the first half, and you can then you can fill me in, uh, Kieran. Maybe uh, the the question was why we changed right the uh, uh, the, the 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 handball. Uh, I mean, the goal scored with an accidental handball by a teammate of the one who scores the goal, basically. Uh, and this is indeed uh, the most uh, significant change. Uh, in addition, I would say, though, to the uh, clarification uh, more generally uh, of the wording uh, related to uh, the handball offense. When it comes to this specific question uh, that, uh, that you ask, indeed, uh, we made uh, there one step back in the sense that uh, uh, we felt, of course, observing what uh, what was happening in uh, uh, football competitions, uh, not the Premier League only or uh, many, many leagues in the world, even though these incidents are not very often taking place. But uh, it is clear that football has to be played with the feet and therefore, a goal scored with the hand, even by accident, should be disallowed. This is, I would say, the spirit. Uh, when the law was changed in order to um, uh, foresee as well the accidental uh, touch of the ball with the hand by a teammate and the goal scored immediately afterwards, uh, I think it is fair to say that after analyzing everything, uh, it was felt by the IFAB that this was maybe going one step too far. This, is, this was the perception of the public. This was the, is the perception that we had in terms of the spirit of uh, the laws of the game generally. And uh, for this reason, we uh, uh, amended this regulation. And now it's, uh, the goal will be disallowed only if uh, the goal happens uh, based on a touch with the hand of the goal scorer, so to say. Uh, this is uh, going in line, as I said, with, uh, with the spirit of the laws of the game. But again, I would like to highlight as well uh, the clarification, so to say, of the handball, which has also been given a lot of discussions in the recent uh, past. It is clear uh, that and it was always clear, but now we wrote it as well to make it even more clear that not every time the ball touches the hand of a player, it is penalty. Not every time um, it is handball. It is handball if it is deliberate. It is handball if the defender or the player makes uh, has the hand in an unnatural position, and then uh, potentially a penalty has to be. Um, awarded. This now has been clarified in terms of the wording and uh, we hope that this will help in the interpretation by the referees. Well, uh, thanks Thanks for the question. I uh, think that uh, VAR is giving and bringing more justice to the game, is making the game more clean, is helping the referees in taking correct decisions. Uh, if uh, maybe takes away the joy of some, it gives the joy to others when a decision is uh, changed. So the joy if you win a game is still there, but uh, I think everyone who is a sportsman prefers to win a game based on the right decision of the referee and not based on the mistake of uh, uh, a referee. So. Uh, all in all, VAR is there. Let's not forget it since two and a half years only. Um, it is already today inimaginable to think about football without VAR. It helps the referees. There are still, of course, uh, mistakes here and there. Uh, there is still some time which uh, maybe uh, goes uh, past until a decision is taken, but if this helps to take the right decision, then I think uh, a few seconds more is not uh, a big issue. But obviously, we are working on optimizing uh, VAR. Uh, as such, one of the points which was presented today was the semi-automated 
uh, uh, offsite uh, uh, line decision for to help again and speed up um, the VAR in this respect, uh, as well as a VAR light uh, option for uh, uh, in order to give the possibility to many more associations and competition organizers around the world to use VAR as, as a VAR light. But uh, I think we need to be objective uh, here and, uh, and uh, bottom line uh, statistics as well show that uh, referees' correct decisions have been moving from whatever, 95 to 99% right, obviously. We tend to focus, or some tend to focus, always on the on the mistakes that happen, which is right. We need to work as well on making it better, and that's uh, that's our job. But uh, if you think on all the mistakes which were made before 2018 without VAR and since then, I think we've moved quite a lot uh, forward in order to bring justice and transparency to our game.